What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Trayvon, and I'm back with another video. And today we got what the? Today we got the the take eight of New York. I ain't never heard of this nigga. His name AI Hound. Take eight is. Hold on. Do not free. Damn, that girl. I need to get a girl. Known for his viral track, The Race, which blew up back in 2017 while he was on a run for murder. Now, two years later, a 15 year old rapper from New York took a page out of his book and did The Race after shooting an innocent bystander in the head. This is the true story of AI Hound, the Tay K of New York. Before we dive in, shout out to OJ the Demon for their video on AI. Make sure y'all tap in with their channel. Not much is known about AI Hound's come up. He grew up in Yonkers, and CBS reported that his dad died when he was young. By the time he was 12, he was already in the streets. In 2015, he was charged with robbery after he pulled a knife on a dude and ran his pockets, but he didn't do no time for it. He was only 12 at the time, so he might have been too young. Damn, he was 12. For Juvie. Two years later, he got arrested again after the cops caught him with a loaded 380 pistol, but he still ain't get locked up. Then one year before he caught a murder case, AI was charged with stabbing someone in the leg during a fight. Somehow, he managed to stay out of legal trouble the whole time while he was putting in work. That nigga, he like TK with the knife though. He just like, you feel me? For one of the most savage gangs in New York, the 300 Bloodhound Brims. The 300 Bloodhound Brims is a blood set that's allegedly responsible for some of the most brutal crimes in Yonkers, including murdering a theater employee. Oh, where Yonkers at, Jack? Hello. Where? <laughs> is it in the Bronx? Oh, Yonkers is a city. Over a cell phone. On April 15, 2017, a 300 Bloodhound Brim named Michael Pettiford walked up to Dage Thomas at the Cinema Deluxe Ridge Hill in Yonkers and started taunting him. Dage was just trying to do his job at the theater, but Pettiford wouldn't leave him alone and called him out for the fade. Dage told him he ain't want to fight, and then Pettiford grabbed his phone and ran off. Dage went after Pettiford to get his phone back, and the two of them got into a struggle, and that's when Pettiford pulled out a knife and stabbed Dage in the chest. Pettiford took the phone and just walked out of the theater while Dage fell to the floor and told the people around him he couldn't breathe. Damn. EMTs rushed to the scene to help, but Dage was pronounced dead later that night. Pettiford was eventually arrested and sentenced to 18 years in prison, and he pleaded guilty to manslaughter and robbery. But that wasn't the only savage attack. Bro, tell me New York is not like the UK, because UK and New York can't have a drug. Bloodhound bro. Brims allegedly committed. On June 17, 2021, a memorial was being held around North Broadway and Ashburton Avenue. The cops was already there monitoring the event because they knew gang members would be in the area, but they still couldn't stop what was about to happen. At around 9 p.m., a 33-year-old man walked into a convenience store near the memorial and was followed by three 300 Bloodhound Brims. They confronted him inside the shop, then followed him back out into the street. As soon as he walked outside, one of the Bloodhound Brims hit him in the back with a liquor bottle. Then another ran up and knocked him onto the ground. Mm -hmm. While he was unconscious on the ground, 11 other members jumped in and started punching and kicking him in the body and head. Damn. The brutal attack was caught on camera, and by the time they all ran off, the victim was left with broken and missing teeth, cuts on his face and body, and bleeding in his brain. They also- Bruh. <clears throat> One thing I can say about New York, bro, them niggas be getting close and personal, bro. You gotta know how to fight in New York. It ain't really, it ain't really guns like that. I know niggas got guns. Matched two chains and a watch from him before they left. The detectives on the scene called in backup to help him chase down the suspects on foot, and five gang members were arrested within just a few minutes of the attack. Over the next few weeks, they went through surveillance footage frame by frame to identify the rest of them. When the investigation was finished. 13 300 Bloodhound Brim members was arrested, and one dude who repped the Mac Ball of Bloods went down with them. One of the Bloodhound Brims who was arrested that night was a dude named Belly Vells. Vells is a rapper from Yonkers and was allegedly shooting a video in the area when the beating went down. Vells has several tracks with AI, and it seems like he's just as reckless too. According to Yonkers Times, the 300 Bloodhound Brims is responsible for or involved in numerous violent activities in the city of Yonkers and surrounding municipalities including felony assaults, robberies, and multiple acts of gun violence. And just a couple months before they stopped this dude out, they was also accused of being involved in the shooting of a six-year-old child. Damn. Playtime mode is the big ring. Playtime mode is the big ring. Hold on, let me copyright it. Fit right in with the 300 Bloodhound Brims. The wild environment he grew up in turned him into a certified savage. 
but the street life caught up to him fast and he ended up killing an innocent woman before he was even old enough to drive. On April 25th, 2019, AI was at a park in Yonkers and allegedly snatched another dude's gold chain. He ran off with it, but the dude he robbed linked up with some friends and started hunting them down. Around 6.30 that afternoon, they saw AI on the corner of Lake Avenue and Morningside Place, and surveillance cameras caught what happened next. In the first clip, AI's ops can be seen hopping out of a car and chasing after him on foot. Then the second camera shows AI pull out his gun and bust a shot when the ops got close to him. He missed the target, but unfortunately, the bullet went past and hit an 18-year-old. Oh, damn. Got close to him. He missed the target. Nigga, who you aiming at? You, you aiming, why he, he aiming, he aiming straight. He supposed to be aiming like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? He aiming like this. He supposed to be aiming like this, bro. But unfortunately, the bullet went past and hit an 18 year old woman named Marilyn mm. Carlo Montanez in the head. Marilyn lived just half a block from the area and was walking her nine year old sister to the store when she got hit. When the bullet struck her head, she yelled at her sister to run then collapsed to the ground. Her life was tragically cut short by senseless violence and her little sister watched it all happen. After the shooting, the cops connected AI to the murder Damn. almost immediately and he went on the run. He made it all the way to North Carolina, but the feds was brought in to help track him down. The Yonkers police commissioner told CVS News, we need information from the community to locate him. Again, we want to hold him accountable for his actions and we're not going to stop until he's in custody. Reporters started looking into AI while he was on the run and one of them found a Facebook post he made just two weeks before murder in Maryland that said, stop shooting with your eyes closed. Innocent people are getting hurt. Tay Kay did the race for three months before he was caught, but AI turned himself in within a couple of weeks. The FBI had agents in Connecticut, Florida, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina looking for him. So it was only a matter of time before they caught up to him anyway. The police believe that he was getting help from other gang members to hide out, but it's almost impossible to get away from the FBI. When he first turned himself in, AI's lawyer tried to paint him as a good kid who got caught up in a bad situation. Yeah, she man. said, he's a young man with no convictions from a nice, humble family. This is a tragedy for everyone. He's here to say he's not guilty and he's gonna fight the case. But the prosecutor- Usually don't be like, usually don't be like, put him in jail, bro, bro. like, come on, bro. That nine-year-old girl saw her look, her big sister die, bro. He always had a different idea of AI. And they even said that his mom helped hide him while he was on the run. AI's lawyer also said he only ran because of the media attention. She told the court he lived his whole life in Yonkers. They've been wanting to surrender him, but the circus surrounding this tragedy put them in a position where they wanted to do it properly. AI turned himself in without the cops ever finding them, but the mayor of Yonkers still tried to take credit. He said, today's surrender of Jameer Thompson is a direct result of the hard work and dedication of the Yonkers Police Department. Their tireless efforts in tracking this individual gave him no other choice than to turn himself in for his crime against a young woman with a bright future. Damn, she was bad too, bro. Some people from the area wasn't happy about police taking credit for the arrest when they didn't really do nothing. The Yonkers police also got a bad look after the attack in June 2021 when the Texas on the scene waited for backup while the 300 Bloodhound Brims brutally jumped a dude in the street. Even though his lawyer said he'd fight the case, AI eventually pled guilty to second degree murder and was sentenced to nine years to life in prison. That means he'll serve at least nine years and then the courts will decide if he's fit to be released after that. If AI gets into any trouble or they don't think he's changed his ways, he might be locked up for the rest of his life. It's tragic how much talent AI let go to waste. His homie Mula G says he was one of the first drill artists from Yonkers and AI's music videos with him and Veli Vells have hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. He hadn't been dropping music for very long but it's clear he was working hard on his craft. His last videos was posted just a few weeks before he killed Marilyn, and he obviously had the skills to really blow up. But unfortunately, he was in too deep with the streets and ended up throwing it all away over a stolen chain. After AI turned himself in, Marilyn's brother told a reporter from CBS2, this is good, she will have peace. My family can now sleep. A GoFundMe was later started to help her family pay for funeral expenses and therapy for her little sister who witnessed the shooting. You see what I'm saying? She, but that little girl traumatized. Her family wrote on the fundraising page, someone took the life of an innocent baby. She'll never get to turn 19. She will never get to go prom shopping like we've talked about for hours at a time. She will never get to graduate high school with a Regents diploma that she was working so hard for or go to college. She will never get married or have children of her own. Hashtag justice for Marilyn because she deserves nothing less. The link for Marilyn's GoFundMe will be at the top of this video's description. Rest in peace to Marilyn Montanez. Hopefully, AI's time in prison will help him turn his life around. But in the meantime, 
At least her family can rest, knowing that justice was found for her. <coughs> Comcast business gives you more. R.P. Maryland, man. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, her little sister gets some help. Yeah. Uh, 